time we got? Well, um, I'm going to start with our first topic. We're going to be changing the lights every time we change a topic because um, it's just easier for us to edit that way. So we, ho I know you guys won't mind that if we're with our new shit. So why are you going to change? You don't have to. But we I were mean, just you... we were just shooting the shit. That's why I want to change the light okay. for me. You know, for yeah, me. If you want to, so do we're it, gonna. That's fine, but I'm saying that's not gonna affect the quality of me editing this of later. Of course not. But I just I, this is what I want to be a do. new asshole about this highlight, regardless. So I mean, but at least it's not skipping anymore. Right, at that least part. It's not skipping. So the Water. first thing that I want to talk about, what I wanted to talk about, like this was like had to be on here. Like I just really just had to talk about this was the whole Gail King interview and. You just had, you just want to start some shit, don't you? Look. You just want me to just, you just want to be in some shit and you want me into some shit. You uh, like niggas is out here beefing with Oprah first and foremost. I ain't beefing with nobody. Nah, nah, nah. I niggas ain't beefing is with out nobody. here beefing with Oprah. I didn't never say you're beefing with Oprah in particular, but there are some niggas out here beefing with Oprah and Gail right now. Mm -hmm. And even doing that, merely stepping to that podium to be like, bitch, you nigga, yeah, to like... Oprah nigga. Ooh, shit, that she got a lot of money, bro. Like so. And she That's how a lot you of know power. how passionate niggas is. Like, real talk, bro. And I appreciate the most passion because, dog, nigga, you can't be talking about niggas' dead homies like that, bro, without no repercussions. It just, it just sucks, though. Like, I get what, um, I never thought I would ever hear myself saying this. I understand what Lil Boosie was saying when he was like, <laughs> Bro, like you are like the one percent black person. What talking about Oprah? Like you, what you say? You you never thought you'd say you get what Boosie said. Nigga, when it comes Boosie's to no, 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 no. Okay, maybe I'll rephrase that. I never thought that I would ever watch Lil Boosie's live stream on Instagram okay. and think, oh yes, because you know how Boosie be on Instagram. He be show Shit show me up. You know how Boosie. Let me not get distracted, but. My I do apologies. agree with what he said with Gail when he was like, um, why are y'all tearing each other down? And you get what I'm saying? So for those of y'all that don't know what happened, let me backtrack a little bit. For those of y'all that don't know what happened, um, basically, Gail King did an interview with one of Kobe Bryant's um, friends. She considered him a mentor. She um, was in the WNBA and and um, she has all of her own accomplishments. I'm not even going to act like I watch basketball at all. Like, I'm not familiar with her. But from all the things that I've seen, like the pictures and stuff, she's known him for a very long time. So for whatever reason, Gail just thought that was a good opportunity to ask her about Kobe's um, sexual assault case back in 2010, 2009 or so. Like, doesn't doesn't matter. But she started asking him about that, asking her about that, and... It was, I don't know. Do you want to just like watch it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Let's, to, let's just watch why it. Why are we because, living in 2019 right, right now? Right. Let's this just is, watch it. This because, is Naja and Daniel 2020. Let's, right. Let's because, take bruh. it there. She wanted to take it there because everybody, she really, some people bought her damage control and the, from, from my perspective, I took sociology. So I'll, I'll put it cut and simple. It seems to be black women in a certain age range are showing sympathy for her because they feel enticed to just follow Oprah regardless. Yeah. Which, okay, that's cool. But all I've been saying is once you, once she said that part where she was like, yo. Yeah. Like when she kept at the end, when she kept him, doing, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know. See it you wouldn't know. It's like, bro. Like, so you're really, you were put, you put your finger in that bullet wound and you just kept twisting it and kept twisting it. And now instead of saying my bad for in your wound you're just like oh screw the people that sh put that out like that like not even thinking about what you did but just blasting the network you work for right like you couldn't have just been like i don't want to say this right but let's let's see it i'm sorry but i'm just like yeah what the <laughs> Since his death, it's taken on a special meaning. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It may not be for that, that's for sure. 
Can I can I also just add that she was a guest to in this woman's house, like she invited her into her home. And she got a shrine damn near right, right there. You gonna disrespect this nigga in right. front of his own shrine with jer with his jersey right there? But, but let's let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> Damn, she always been looking please, good, dog. Please, mm -hmm. please, come here, come here, come here. Watch this, watch this. He's always, he's watching Jordan videos, Michael Jordan videos. Michael Jordan, he's clicking. She just smiling. She already knew what she was going to ask her. That's why this is so f***ed up. You think she knew? Duh, she's a journalist. She knew what she was going to ask? Oh, no, the, okay. I'm saying the sh thing is gail is Gail's over here kiki and shit but she knows what okay, she's going I, to I ask her like that's why i'm like but Lisa no Leslie knew. i was like Dude, no i don't think she knew i don't think so either Holy she did knew and if she did know i'm sorry if she did know i'm pretty sure she knew that her response was going to be taken well mm -hmm. because that's one thing gail kept saying is she okayed the interview she okayed it and it's like if i was her i would have okayed it too because i didn't defame my friend i took up for him while you were trying to shoot him down but did you <laughs> she said she okayed it but she didn't say that she saw the no, transcript and i know beforehand. what she meant and we all aren't dumb we know what she meant by okayed it means it means review what you look like on film are you okay with how you are portrayed that's what that means they do mm -hmm. that to anybody like they did it to because they don't want to get sued exactly. like they do that to everybody people are crazy man People are real, real but off. But I just wanted to play the um, whole audio. I'm going to turn this microphone up so you guys can probably hear this a little bit better. And, um, yeah, this is the full video because a lot of people trying to defend Gail keep saying that, oh, you need to watch the whole video. You need to watch the whole yes, interview. So and it's like you guys are acting Crazy. like it's a hour long or a 30 minute long interview or something. Like this is literally five minutes so here we go Did you hear what she just said? No, nah, I'm sorry. I was just giving my new props. But you see what she's doing, yeah, though? She, right. She's slithering closer and closer and closer.
she she had the men, the, the mentality. Mamacita was going to make it. She was going to be in the WNBA. It's been said that his legacy is complicated because of sexual assault charge, which was dismissed in 2003, 2004. It- like, where did that come from? Left. Like, Ew. where did that come from? Like, she made it seem like it was just some random, like, they, she made it seem like they just clipped it at some random part. Like, we needed to get some context from the beginning. She literally just started out of nowhere talking about, like, what? And then my thing isn't, my thing isn't that she's, my thing isn't the time. Okay, this is my issue. For one, you had 10 years, you had a decade to have this complicated conversation. You had a decade to talk about it when Kobe was here, okay? Two, why would she know? Look at her, you guys can't even see, hold on, hold on. I want you guys to see, oh, well shit, I already fucking moved it, but her face was so uncomfortable. I wish y'all could have saw that. Her face just looks so uncomfortable, like, it was just so up. So for one, for two, why are you saying it to her, her, his friend, and not interviewing the victim and interviewing what she has to say? And for three, Gail, you don't really give a f- about the victim at all. You're just trying to have an R. Kelly round two. Like, let's be real. That R. Kelly interview had your name everywhere. Yeah. That was the first time in a long time that your name has been everywhere. And you tried to emulate that same like and it it shows. I'm not. I'm gonna stop talking and let her finish. But this is some fuckery. What she's about to do. Watch what she about to do. Watch this shit. Just watch this shit. She gonna start fishing. Woman as a WNBA player. It's not complicated for me at all. Even if there's a few times that we've been at a club at the same time. Kobe's not the kind of guy. Never been like, you know, let's go get that girl or tell her or send her this. I have other NBA friends that are like that. Kobe's the, he, he was never like that. I just never see, have ever seen him being the kind of person that would be, do something to violate a woman or be aggressive in that way. I, that's just not the person that I know. But Lisa, you wouldn't see it though. As his friend, you wouldn't see it. And that's possible. Mm-hmm. I just, it's just, I just don't, I just don't believe that. Dude, I'm starting to think she thought people were going to be on her side. No, I know she did. Because you I saw all those questions. That. Like you just the way she just said house. that, right? She thought people were gonna be gunning for she her. She did. Like real. She did. <sighs> oh, how far we have fallen. Right. My Instagram is Spody Boys. That things with a Z. With is it even a fair question to talk about it, considering he's no longer with us and that it was resolved, or is it really part of his history? I think that the media should be more respectful um, at this time. AKA you, like, Gail. You had questions about it. You had many years to ask him that. I don't think it's something that we should keep hating over his legacy. I mean, he went to, it went to trial. Yeah, but the case was, it was dismissed because the victim in the case refused to. And every it. time and then, she tries to stop talking about this shit, she, she just keeps bringing this shit up. But you saw up. what she just did? At first, you made it seem like you're asking her these questions because she would know as because she's so close to Kobe. But then when she tells you something, now you want to school her with some facts. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm like, sis, you had you had an intent. You knew what you were doing. She didn't come you there. Did, you did not come to there. To ask if right. she thought she, he was a bad person. She came there to maybe get her to agree with her but if if she didn't like she didn't right just uh, reaffirm the fact that y'all feel like he was still a nigga with a past basically mm-hmm. but he wasn't he, he was the fucking goat for real for real like nah bro cbs got fuck, hor- nigga. Bro, cbs got horny gail got horny and Oof. yeah, like now she over here acting on, like wanna, she want to fucking. Hold on, I want to finish it. Hold on. Damn, jump off a bridge and right, shit. Right, talking about no, 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 no. Actually, you don't know. This is actually what happened. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. And I think that that's how we should leave it. It is interesting to me how deeply his his death has affected so many different types of people. Why do you think people are so deeply affected 
in many cases by men they did not know. I really think it's the idea that you rooted for him or you didn't. But that was an emotion evoked a better way. You know what I keep thinking, Lisa, as often as the case, it was probably just another ordinary day for them. And then in seconds, your life was forever changed. Forever changed. It reminded me about the quote about um, joy and sorrow are inseparable. And it's just that. Sorrow has been awakened in my life, in their lives, in the world's life. She did that, though. She did that. And it wasn't even it wasn't even her job to do that. We your people. That we part. After fucking Harvey Weinstein asking them dumb ass questions. I get sick of y'all. I wanna call you one. Is it okay if I call him one? Funky dog head bitch. <laughs> How dare you try to torch my motherfucking home boy? She needed that though. He's the fucking guy. He didn't threaten her. Man. He said, bitch, shut the fuck up fuck with that. Like, like, come on, man. I don't give a fuck who friends <laughs> Now, this nigga is who she really need to be worried about. She worried about Snoop Dogg.